My Senin 2 student struggled with applying good peeking hygiene into his gameplay. Here is what I mean. That was rough. Instead of peeking like this, he should have peeked how I explained in a mini class I had on stream. We pre-aim, peek, then white swing. Right? Why? Because look at the distance from these gunfights. Okay? This is long range. So we want to be able to... Right? Now anything here, we just want to be like this. Immediately just spray. At his head. Right? Because it's really close range. Right? So whenever you're picking this angle, pre-aim, swing. Right? Pre-aim, swing. Okay? Do you see the difference? Just like good gunfight hygiene, we need good peeking hygiene as well to ensure we get our kills while taking the least amount of damage possible and so we don't just throw our life away. Now, let me show you some more of the mini class I had on my stream about peeking. Okay, so if we are peeking, let's say this angle right here, right? This is the point of contact. We're peeking past this wall. And let's say this guy's holding us right here, okay? How do you guys think we should peek this? Do we peek this like this? Do we peek it like this? Or do we peek it like this? Okay, so this is A. This is B. And this is C. How do you guys think we should peek it? Yeah, just hold A. We pre-aim and we swing out. Why? Because we are, this guy is further away from the angle that we're peeking from. We are closer to the angle that we're peeking from. So would it make sense for us to shift walk out like this or to curve the angle, right? Because we need to already be like, okay, we're clearing this guy. We're further from the angle. So we have to kind of swing wide and I already have our crosshair place on him. Let's say we are peeking this guy right here. Do we go like this? Or do we go like this? Which one, guys? A? Or B? Which one? That's crazy. Only two people got it right. Three people got it right. It's B, guys. B. B, man. Big man. No way you said A, bro. Think about it, big man. Where's the point of contact? This edge right here, right? Who is closer? This guy? Or the guy here? Who's closer? This guy is, right? This guy right here, he's closer, right? So why would we just swing directly into his crosshair when technically, if we're shift walking around the corner, we're gonna see this guy's shoulder but he's before he's able to see us, right? right why is because we're further away from the angle than this guy that's standing right there is because we're all the way back here look we're nine meters away from the angle and this guy is six meters away from the angle you guys see that you guys see that so rule of thumb right whenever we are further away from the angle you shift walk and you keep your crosser on the edge of the corner we do not have our crosser inside the wall no 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 not this like this. You see how it's like off the wall? See us on the edge? Boom. And then you kill that guy. And he's not even gonna see. I hope you're taking notes because I'm spitting free game for you guys. But if you want more game or knowledge to advance yourself in the ranks in Valorant, consider booking a coaching session through my Metify. You won't regret it. Here's one more clip from my mini class to show you this concept being applied at another location on Split. Like I said, I'm gonna demonstrate it again. If we're clearing B site, this is how you guys should clear it. Okay, dead zone, dead zone, dead zone, dead zone. Just like that. Look, I'm gonna demonstrate it again. Dead zone, dead zone, dead zone, dead zone. You guys see? One more time. Dead zone, dead zone, dead zone, dead zone. You guys got it? If you don't understand why on the very last angle my crosser was riding the edge while we were shift walking, it's because we are further from the point of contact compared to the enemy who we are peeking into. This, ladies and gentlemen, is good peeking hygiene. 
If you want to watch the full mini class on good peaking hygiene, I will include a timestamp link below in the description where you can rewatch the class. Once you master the concept of good peaking hygiene, you should practice staying calm and relaxed so you can implement this concept into your gameplay smoothly. Of course, I got you covered. Watch my slow down, you're going too fast video next. And for those of you who are looking to like practice your peeking mechanics, bro, you honestly just have to keep putting yourself in situations to where you're peeking enemies. You gotta peek them, peek them, peek them, because you're never gonna get good at something unless you put it into practice. You're gonna suck at first, but I mean, that's literally a part of getting better.